Welcome back. Today I want to share with you a fun project that I made last week. It's the small caddy. Now I want to show you how I did it. So let's get to it. Well I started by taking the board and ripping it down to, in order for my sides and my ends for my caddy. Now these two boards are what's going to be the sides of my caddy. I'm just double checking to make sure that they're the right height. Now I'm going to be marking, I'm going to put, be putting my dados. I'm going to cut some dados on the sides and the ends in order to receive the bottom of my caddy. Now I'm making the second pass for my dados. I'm just using a regular gang, uh, table saw blade here. I had to make three passes in order to get the right width for my dados. And there's my dados. Now I had to cut the ends and the sides to the proper length. I'm going to be using a stop block here that I just clamped to the, my table saw. My stop block is to the right hand side of the screen and right there I finally touched the clamp. It slid over a little bit hard for some reason. I'm not really sure why. And just cut it to length. As simple as that. Now, I had to take a chisel and kind of clean up these datas a little bit. I like using power tools a lot, but let's face it, sometimes the hand tools are what does the job. Just double check and make sure it fits good. And just need just a little bit more tweaking. All right, there we go. Now I'm just doing a dry assembly. Just want to make sure all these parts up to this point are fitting together properly. And sometimes it just takes a little bit of time. All right, now I'm going to be doing the round overs on my router table. Just a nice little simple round over to make it feel nicer when you pick it up and make it look a little nicer. Yep, looks pretty good. And of course we got to do some sanding. Every project you got to do sanding, so here we go. I cut some dados and end pieces in order to receive some dividers. And right there I was just using my X-Acto knife in order to clean them up. Now I'm actually gluing the bottom in. I'm going to put the sides the ends and the bottom. I'm going to glue it all up right now. The caddy won't be done yet because I still have to make the dividers but I wanted to get this glued up this far in order so that I can measure accurately how long my dividers have to be. And here I was just experimenting with using two cameras doing a little editing, just kind of experimenting, seeing what I like to do and see what looks good. It's part of learning both in the photography and also woodworking is just trying new things and seeing what you like and seeing what you don't. But I never should try. Uh, the ghost image is kind of neat. Hopefully this ghost image is not too confusing for people. I just think it looks kind of neat. Okay, it looks like things are fitting together fairly well.
Time to clamp it up. I was using some DAP, Rapid Fuse, wood adhesive. Yeah, it sets up in 30 minutes. So it does set up fairly fast, which I like, because that way you can continue on with your project all in the same day without having to let it sew overnight. And it seems like you still got like five or 10 minutes, so set up time, so. So, you, so you're not in a rush. It's just a, kind of a nice woodworking glue. Keeps things moving. And of course, I take a square, make sure that it's clamped up nice and square. Square is your best friend in my projects. And then after it sets up a little bit, I come back, leave it in the clamps, but I just wanted to double check. Now I actually took a hanger here and um, this is part of a broken hanger. I just needed something to make a unique design. So I just used a hanger and traced around it and then extended it with a, you know, with a straight edge up to the very top. I just thought it looked kind of neat. You'd be surprised what you can use. Pieces of hangers like this, for example. Sometimes you can use just like a bottle in your shop of a different diameter. Just something to trace around. Just kind of look around and be creative. One thing I show you about woodworking is just being creative. Okay, now I'm going to cut them out. Cut out the dividers to the proper profi profile. I really like this scroll saw. I haven't had it very long, and I'm just starting to learn how to use it. I really haven't made a scroll shop saw project yet, but it is nice for just cutting this type of profile on a project. And then I go over to my drill press, I put in a sanding drum, and I just sand it down right, right down to the line and kind of round things off. Now I'm going to drill, I take both pieces, of, both dividers at once, and I drill right through both of them. And this is going to accept a dowel later on for the handle. Now the end pieces are sticking up just a little bit because I rounded off the inside of my sides. So I'm just now taking a hand knife and just carving down the end pieces to make the profile of the sides. And then I take a dowel, there's the line. And I'm gonna cut that to length, and that's gonna be the handle for my candy. All right, I already, I'm kind of gluing up now. It's this, we're getting to the final assembly. Okay, now I'm gluing the dividers together. I glued one end together already, and that was the second end. And I'm gonna put some glue on the ends. And, and then I'll install the dividers into the caddy. little glue on the bottoms because when I pick up on it there's gonna be a little bit of weight there so I want to glue things pretty good and of course things don't always go as quite as good as we hope but we get it sooner or later just line everything up and there it goes down it goes and like with every, every project just take my mallet just give a little persuasion to make sure everything's set properly and 
there's the finish uh, finishes applied. And these are the final beauty shots of the project. It turned out very good. I'm very happy with it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.